Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and we're going to do Roxy's weekly challenge. That is Rachel, and her channel will be linked below. She did some document holders. I have grabbed out some digitals, and I tried to print on the opposite side, and some of them worked, and some of them didn't. I don't know what the deal was. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this if we have to stitch some together or glue some together that's okay now you know I had to fold one just to make sure that I knew how she was doing that and this one looks like I printed the one on the other side upside down anyway but we don't care we're gonna go with it so I'm just gonna fold a few and then we'll come back and figure out what else we're gonna do now I don't know exactly how far she folded these over but I'm folding mine about two inches. And then she just brought that inside in like that. And some of them I think she folded on one side and some she folded on the other and that's just what we're gonna do. And some of these may not be cut exactly straight but we'll figure that out later. Let's see. This one I tore a little bit so I think I'll fold that edge, no, nope. I'll fold this edge over because that'll show on the outside. And then I'll fold this one in. That background didn't exactly go with this one. It was supposed to go on the one before it, but somehow my printer decided to pull two or three in at once. So, I don't know. One of those days, this is a typical Monday, isn't it? And this one I did have to cut quite a bit more off of because it had a wider border. So, okay, I'm going to start with these because who knows how many I will get finished. I'll start with this one. Now, this is not a real thick paper, so I think I'm going to put something else on the inside like she did just to give it a little bit more strength. And I have just some pieces of this paper cut. I think I'll just glue that down there. Nothing real decorative. I don't have anything real decorative, I don't think. Let's see if I do. Well, we could put could put a piece of that in there, couldn't we? Oh, I think she had a, a digital printout of some lace and things. So, we could do this. Yeah, that's not tore straight either, but oh well. That's my life today. I think this Monday has actually been two Mondays all rolled up together. I have just struggled with today trying to get going and doing the things that I needed to do. I just didn't want to do anything. <clears throat> and that's not like me normally. I get up and I get busy and I go, 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 but... Today's one of those days where I just felt like I didn't want to do anything. I had such a mess on both of my desks that I had to do some cleanup there before I could even get started doing anything else. And now that's strengthened on the inside there, and I don't mind that blue with that pink that's fine with me i'm not real particular when it comes to this this stuff you guys know that now i think i'll go ahead and pull some of my documents just to put in there um i've got just odds and ends that i've printed i don't have any real well i have a few real documents but i try to save those and i go ahead and scan them and then let you know share them with you guys so I've got some but they're they're going to be shared so I'm not going to use those I am going to use an old piece of paper out of a just an old notepad that someone sent me and then I'll use one of these 1859 French book pages and let's see what else can we use I'm probably not going to put many in um, each one. I think I'll tear the corners off of this one though, or the 
tear the extra paper off of this one and use it. The corners. I'm going to tear the corners off. I told you it's Monday. You just have to excuse me. I'm having one of those can't even get my tongue to work days. Let me know if you ever have one of those days where you just like you don't want to do anything, but you know you got lots to do, and just blah. <laughs> just feel blah. Okay, let's decide which way we want to put these in. I think I will put that one on the back. This one is mainly just a document that hasn't been filled in. So we're going to put that one back there, and I'm probably... Let's see, let me trim the top of this off a little bit straighter. I know a lot of people have those blah days. I know I'm not the only one. But you know, when you're going through it, sometimes you feel like you're the only one in the world that feels that way. <laughs> you're like, oh man, does there anybody else ever feel this way? Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm going to go ahead and tear it a little off the side too. I just think it's a... It's one of those things that you go through. Let's see. This one's going to be a little bit long, and I don't want to have to fold it up. So I'm just going to take that little top part off that, you know, it didn't have anything on it anyway. That one will be fine. Our book page will be fine. We can put that in there. And I have this old document that I printed out, and I'm not sure where exactly all of these come from. I purchased some off of Etsy last year or year before. I think it was year before, actually. And I am bad about not saving mine in a particular file. So they're just kind of scattered through my files. and So I don't know exactly who it come from. Sorry. But you can just go in there and type in documents or French documents, whatever you would want, and it'll pull up all different shapes and sizes okay I think that's enough for one now let's see where I folded that right there I think and then I'm gonna I think she clipped hers until she got ready to do her holes so we're gonna clip that one and that one's ready to go and I'm gonna put something right here too I'm not too fond of that that's not long enough I don't like that let's just put a piece of this here so I've got to edit Miss Brooklyn's video she came over and did a video the other day and I told her I would get it edited and get it up. And I hadn't done that yet. And she texted me this morning and she said, Nana, have you got my video edited yet? <laughs> I said, um, <laughs> not yet, baby. I'll get it up today. So look for that later on tonight. I will get that edited and put it up. I'm cutting these a little bit too big, so I'm having to trim them off. She said, okay, because she asked for you guys to give her questions, and she was going to come back on and answer questions, so make sure that you give her some questions, or give her some, yeah, questions to answer, but she's all excited about it. She said, this is going to be my first Q&A. <laughs> I'm like, how do you know what Q&A is? She said, no, no, I do watch YouTube, you know. It's like, yep, you do. Okay, let's grab another. From over here. Let's see, we'll put that one in that way. It'll be all right. These I just printed on kind of a cream... Uh, paper and it this is just a regular printer paper. It's not thick or anything 
I just had some extra and I printed them on that so that they wouldn't be so white so that they look more like old documents. And if you want this to look even more like old documents, you can always, you know, rough them up, crinkle them up, and add a little bit of ink here and there. Okay, what else are we going to put? Let's put this one in here. This one actually does look like an old oldie, doesn't it? This one got hung up in my printer, so it is an oldie. Let's see, I'm going to tear a little bit more of that off. Um, the printer liked to aid it. I had to dig it out. And you could cut all these. I'm just tearing them because it's a little bit faster for me. But uh, you could actually... Go in there and cut them all. I'm going to leave that on there like that. I don't mind that. Makes it look like it really is old, old, old. And I think, let's see. I think I want one more little something on the front. And I, I might just use this old check here. I think it's an old check or, let's see. Hmm. I guess. I don't know. I can't read this. It's, it's a French document, so I can't read it. But we're going to use that. This one I tore all to pieces, so I'll have to use that for something else, I guess. Now, I'll have to remember when I start poking my holes that I can't go too far there because that is actually not as wide as the others okay there's another one this one let's see there's a nice one there and that one let's go ahead and tear this down and I tried to get all these torn down before I started the video, but of course I didn't. Too bad you don't have a printer that prints it and then cuts off the edges, right? <laughs> that would be nice. And let's see, a book page. And this, I think, is that rag paper that Rachel's always talking about because it is very thick. Um, it doesn't feel like just regular paper. Let's do this one. This is a, looks like maybe German. I think that's what that is anyway. I don't know. I don't know my languages. But I'm sure some of you will. And here again, I'm not sure exactly where this one come from. Uh, I'm sure I just got it off of Etsy at one time or another. Let's see, that one feels a little bit more empty. I need one more something to put in there. Let's just put this piece in there. It can be journaled on or whatever. Put that right there. think that will work oh we need to make this a little bit stronger here let's see yeah we can use this since the outside has that pink in it but you can tell I'm not being real particular with what the outside has on it I didn't even realize that I had pulled this up to print on here. I would rather have had just like a coffee dyed, but oh well. Like I said, it my, my printer messed up and it just skipped pages and it had a mind of its own today. Now, I didn't set a timer. I forgot all about it. 
but I'll check my computer along the way and make sure that I don't go over the time or if I do I don't go over too much you know I always go over but I don't want to go over too much okay so there we go and let's go ahead and get this back together put it in there Now, I'm thinking that she folded all of her pieces over as she folded this over. I'm thinking that's the way she folded it. If if that's not Rachel, let me know. <laughs> oh, I folded that crooked as a dog's hind leg. I said that the other day on here, and somebody came on my comments and said I have never in my life heard that saying before and they were just laughing I said oh that's that's a southern thing I guess because my mom and dad used to say that all the time dad would put up a fence or something on the farm and he'd say he'd get back and look at it and he said oh my goodness I put that up crooked as a dog's hind leg <laughs> I'm just going to tear a piece of this off and put that down through there Okay, I'm picking some papers that will go in this one. So I've got that, that. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. That. That one. Page. Oh, notepad. Paper. Peeper, peeper, and then this. And I think that'll be enough. Okay, I think that's folded straight. So we'll clip that one. And now let me grab some brads and we'll go ahead and start putting the tops on them and clipping them together. These come together pretty quick so far. Okay, I have my hole punch, have my brads, and if I'm not mistaken, she pulled this up and she punched her hole in this part. Okay, then there and there, and I picked up everything, so we we'll get a couple of brats. I hope this is the way she did hers. You know, I watched it the other night as I was going to sleep. And I can't even remember if I saw the end of it or not. That's pretty sad, isn't it? Does that look right? Well, these don't look even, but it's okay. We're going to let it go. Now, she also said you could tie a string around it. You could put some kind of clip on it if you wanted to. Ever, any way that you wanted to close it would be fine. I might tie some of mine with string and then some of them I may just put a little Tim Holtz clip on. Let's see, this one actually goes this way. So there's that one all tied up 
And I think this is a Hello Susan paper, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. Now, she put some things on the front of some of hers and some she didn't. So let's see if we have anything over here that we might want to slide in here. Okay, I'm going to cut this flower right here out, and I'm going to use it. And I think this is one of Rachel's, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but I think this is some of Rachel's flowers. Now, I'm going to speed this up because you guys don't need to see me fussy cut. You know how to do that, and I don't fussy cut that well when I'm trying to show it on video anyway. <laughs> I just roughly cut that out. Nothing real special. I think I might put that, since there's kind of a blank space in here, I might put that right there and then put a label. Well, it's got a label up there. I don't really need another label. Maybe put, I don't know, another butterfly up here or something. We'll see. Now, on her, she has, on this flower, she has a background to it. So I'm not having to cover very much white up. But yeah, I think I'll put that there and put a little washi at the bottom so it doesn't look like it's just floating around in the air. Uh, let's see. Now, I did find another piece of this washi right here. This is some of the washi that we gave away in, ooh, well, that we had in one of the e-club kits a long time ago. But I found another piece in my stash. <laughs> and I was so happy. I just want a little rugged piece right there. There we go. And then, let's see. What else shall we put? I may just put this on there. This is a little stamp, and I think this is one of Betty's, I believe. You guys know I can't remember all of them. I have so many digitals in my stash can't remember them all, but I, this this looks like a Betty. If it's not, then Betty, you can let me know. Okay, there we go. And I think that's all I'm going to do to the front of that one. And I'm not going to do anything to the back because you could actually use that to journal on if you wanted to. All right, let's try this one. And what shall we put them? I think I'm going to use those same colored brads. These are kind of a bronze color. I think I'm going to use those. Now, I did ink on that other one, and I'm going to ink on this one a little bit because I like the vintage look of the ink. I'm going to straighten this one up a little bit. I've got it a little, little bit crooked here. All right. Now we can punch our holes. I'll try to get these a little bit more even than I did the other ones. Not, no promises. Okay. That's a little bit more even. Okay. So fold that right there. I'm going to put a little ink on that. Use my bone folder to press it down.
this is actually that way too. Okay, on this one, I think I'll just put a Tim Holtz clip. So let me see if I can find one right here. All right, let's grab a little clip. We can put that right there. That'll hold all of that together. And I don't think this one needs anything on it. If I do put anything, it may just be... I could put this number on there. It's kind of dark like the rest of that. Let's see. Where do we want to put it? I think right here. That'll work. Okay, so that's number two. And then let's do this one. Now, Rachel did some where she tied the string through them. So let's try that. I think I want to tie the string through this one, though. Because I have, uh, let's see, I have kind of a dark. Let me see what strings I have up here. I have some twine. We can tie that through there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to clip this out here like that. And then make sure that I'm not getting too close. I'm missing some things right there. Right there. That should work. Now if I can remember how she tied this the string. <laughs> um, let's see. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do it like I've done it before. I think she might have tied a different way, but we're going to do it this way. I don't think she cares. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I need to get this a little bit straighter. I've got it a little crooked. That's better. Now I have this little piece that's trying to stick out over here, but that's okay. Not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and fold this up. I don't mind if they stick out a little here and there. That's okay with me. See, it's just sticking out just a tiny bit, and that's fine. I'm just going to ink it up just like it's another part of that little... Well, it is another part of that journal, isn't it? And we will go with it. Okay, and then I think I'll just put a clip on this one. I don't, uh, I don't want to put another string around it since it's already got string there. So I am just going to clip it. You could clip it at the top and the bottom if you wanted. I'm just going to clip it at the top. That's fine with me. I want to say this is another one of Hello Susan. I'm not sure. You guys don't hold me to all these because I can't remember what's what. Let's see if we want anything else on here. I think that cover is pretty enough that we don't need to put anything else on it. So I'm going to leave it. And then we can do this one. And looks like I have got close to 35 minutes, so we'll do this one. And then if we have any time left, I might do one more. I don't know. And this one I am going to use a Brad in. 
And I think I'll use these. They're polished silver. Let's see what they look like. Yep, I like those. If you use a brad in them, well, even if you use a string to tie them, you can still add more or take some out if you want. So if you got this in one of your journals and you wanted to take some of those pieces out to use them somewhere else, you could do that. And let's go ahead and fold the bottom part up. Oh, I like that. And that's pretty the way it is. It's got a label on it. It's got the butterflies, the flowers. doesn't need anything else. So I'm not going to put anything else on there. Um, and it's staying together really well, too. So I don't even think it needs to be clipped. But I'll go ahead and put a little clip on it. These are just the Tim Holtz little paper clips. That's all they are right there. All right, let's you want to do one more? Let's see if we can do one more. I don't have a paper that has that's backed. But we could glue a piece onto this, I guess. Those are the same size, so we could glue those together. And normally I would probably stitch these together, but I'm going to glue them. I think that's enough glue to hold it. Let's see. Okay, I think it goes this way. No. It actually goes this way. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to trim off. Looks like I cut it a little crooked when I was trimming them. So I'm just going to trim that little bit of white off of there. Alright, so there will be another. Ooh, I like that. I like that birdie. I need that on the front. So, let's fold a piece of this over. And then that'll fold up in there. That'll work. This glue is still wet, so I wouldn't recommend doing this and then putting them together right away. But, we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay. And this is going to be thick enough. I'm not going to have to put anything on there. I'm going to grab one of these book pages. I grab one of those. And one of the little notepads. And one of these. We'll go ahead and tear the edges of these. And then I'll come back after I've torn them. Okay, I think this will be enough. Ooh, these are going to be way too long, I think, for this. Let's see. No, maybe not. Okay, that one will go there. That one. That one. We'll put our book page down. And then that book page down. That, and then that. Now let's put this up at the top and then we'll fold that again. Okay. There we go. And I think I'm going to go with brads again. I just like the looks of the brads. And they're easier to take out and put back if you have if you want to take something out and use it too. Okay. Yeah, I got that in a little bit off. 
off to the right too, but that's going to be okay. You know, those old documents, they never were exactly right, were they? All right, that one's going to go that way. Let's go ahead and run our bone folder over it. Isn't that pretty? I don't, that's not going to need anything either. I'm going to put a little ink. This page is sticking out a little bit. I'm just going to put ink on it. You could cut it off if you wanted to. But I can remember back in the day when I did documents and things like this in offices, a lot of times I would not get them in straight and they would stick out. <laughs> And sometimes they'd be a little bit big and you couldn't trim them off back then because if you did you got in trouble if you trimmed anything off so I think we'll trim uh, trim I think we'll tie this one with some twine I'm gonna trim this one with some twine Yes, I did keep books back when you had to keep things in document folders many, many years ago, long before computers ever got popular. I think they were out, but they weren't. Nobody could afford them then in the offices that I worked in anyway. All right, there is that one. And I think that's all that we're going to do, but that's a ton. Look at that. We have got five made, I think. Yeah, we've got five made. They're various, you know, fr from left to right. And then, and most of them I did, I guess that's called right-handed. I only did this one that way. But these you can tuck down in pockets. You can clip it on the side of a pet journal page. You can put it in the back of a journal that you're selling or something like that. And then the person that gets it can use these documents out of it. But they're they're a lot of fun. They're easy to make. And now we've got lots of things to go in our journals. All right, guys, that is it. I'll put Rachel's information below. Don't forget to go over and check out her video. And we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.